Currently, Broward County's regional public safety communication centers use Priority Dispatch's protocol-based system to process medical-related incidents. Beginning of the fall of 2018, we'll begin utilizing this system for fire-related incidents. In the spring of 2019, police-related incidents. This video will show how the new protocol system will standardize call taking practices and benefit you as the field unit. The new protocol based dispatch system standardizes the questions that call takers ask and the priority in which they ask them. This ensures that the information most important to you in the field is obtained first. Protocol based dispatch systems do not change the way you use your MDTs. Units will continue handling the calls as they normally do. Call takers will use software called ProQA to guide them through caller interrogation. The software intelligently picks questions to ask based on previous answers entered. Call signals are also more accurately identified based on the answers entered into the system and the entire interrogation sequence is transferred into CAD. Now let's take a look at how calls will flow through the ProQA system. When a call is received, the caller will always be asked case entry questions. These include address, phone number, caller's name, and the nature of their call. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Based on the response given from question four, okay, tell me exactly what happened. The system will intelligently choose the correct protocol and line of key questions for the call taker to ask next. It is important to note that the protocol system is also designed to intelligently choose the precise point of submittal for calls with the ability to fast track the highest priorities for immediate entry into CAD. By the end of the key question sequence, call takers will have submitted the call for service while also remaining on the line to provide consistent post-dispatch instructions to all callers. The instructions provide important safety information and are a step-by-step -step guide for a variety of emergencies. The protocol also dictates the appropriate moment for the call taker to disconnect from the caller and what information to provide before the field responders arrive. Let's take a closer look at what the call flow process will look like in a police-related emergency. 911, what's the address of your emergency? 1670 Southeast 7th Street. I'm in Rio Vista. Someone's in my house and they have a gun. Can you repeat that address for verification? Okay. Rio Vista, 1670 Southeast 7th Street. Please hurry. What's the phone number you're calling from? 954-555-1234. What's your name? It's Steve. Please hurry, I'm scared. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. There's a guy inside my house. I saw him from the top of the stairs. He has a gun in his hand. I ran into my room and locked the door. Attention, District 3, Area 3473, 34 K970, 34 Bravo 73, and 34 India 10. Receiving a 41 home invasion with a weapon in progress at 1670 Southeast 7th Street. 1670 Southeast 7th Street. Awaiting further updates. 34 India 10, 10 4, 1051. Now let's take a closer look at what the call flow process will look like in a fire-related incident. 911, what's the address of your emergency? There's a fire at the swap shop. It's the swap shop in Lauder Hill, 3291 West Sunrise Boulevard. Repeat that address for verification. Lauder Hill, 3291 West Sunrise Boulevard. What's the phone number that you're calling from? 954-555-1234. What's your name? Steve. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. There's flames coming from the top of the snack shop right by the drive-in. I think there's people still in there. Attention 110 Bravo, structure fire. Rescue 110, rescue 30, rescue 57, engine 30, engine 57, Quint 73, Quint 110, battalion 57. Quint 110, copy call, show is responding. During both demonstrations, the call taker was able to quickly and efficiently transmit the call to the dispatcher who relayed accurate and consistent information to responding units in real time. 
The wording of questions asked and instructions given is based on over 30 years of continuous analysis and improvement. They are approved by the International Academy of Emergency Dispatch and used in over 3,000 agencies worldwide. Additionally, one of the key components of Priority Dispatch is quality control. Moving forward, a select sample of calls will be consistently evaluated by an independent third party for continued quality assurance and quality improvement for call processing in Broward County's regional public safety communication centers. In addition to quality control, we want to ensure that the protocol-based system is performing optimally. Any problems with call taking specific to protocol, event type determinations, or ProQA should be sent directly to Communications Quality Improvement Unit via your chain of command. For additional ProQA demonstrations, visit 911.broward.org and click on the ProQA demonstration link. Together, we can advance technology and professionalism in emergency services.